Hi, welcome. This is Mr. E. Logan King doing the Friday Challenge at Al Nick. Comic Collector Geek does every Friday. This Friday is zombie covers in honor of Halloween. Last week it was witches. So my top 10, I'm going to just show 10 different ones that he did. So this one right here, it would be a swamp, side of the swamp thing, number 30, right here. Got the hands right here, you got zombies up in here. It looks like zombies to me, so I'm gonna be number 10. All right, it's pretty cool. All right, number nine is Stuff for Nightmares. Got the zombies on the front cover of that right there. It's pretty cool. Number eight is evil Ernie he's a psychopath basically he kills people and he was brought back to life by some evil entity I guess uh, that's what the green stuff is I never read it though but you know it's cool zombie cover all right okay this is a uh, death metal the multiverse who laughs okay this is all the super pets on the cover and they're all zombies they're all dead they got like maggots on them their uh, stuff's falling off of them it is rotting looking it's really nasty so here you go right there you got all of them in there you got the super cow comet Crypto, um, Batman's dog, I forgot his name. It might be Bruce or something. Anyway, right here is a uh, streak. And let's see here. Anyway, I think this might be the turtle down here, but can't hardly tell right here. I mean, the rest of them, I'm not sure who they are. But that's pretty cool. This might be Superman's dog. No, this right here is uh, Black Adam's dog, I think, right here. It's pretty cool. All right. Next one is, uh, how to show this one. It's an Archie Afterlife number one. How to show this one. This is cool. It's the cool zombies. Next one is Grim Fairy Tales by Xenoscope 2016 Holiday Special Cosplay Exclusive Limited 350. This is cool. Check this out. This cool zombies right here. She's dressed like a Ghostbuster, I guess it looks like to me. It's pretty cool. And then the next one is, I think this is one of the few books from the 80s that were actually a zombie cover, A cover, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 148. It says uh, Tombstone right here. Rest in peace, Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry, here lies Spider-Man. Right here it says, rest in peace, Gwen Stacy. So you got a Gwen Stacy zombie and you got a Spider-Man zombie. It's probably one of the coolest ones right here. Alright. Task Force Z number two. It's got a zombie bane on the front cover. Jason Todd is basically bringing him back to life. Like a Frankenstein type thing going on. It's pretty cool. Then, it had to include Captain America 21. It's a Marvel Zombie variant. It's Legacy 725. Check this out. That's badass right here. It's cool. It 
this would be number one except because of this kind of book right here it's number two number one is the flash monsters of the month variant cover it's flash number 35 for the new 52 So he's got a brain in his mouth eating brains. If you look at all these characters, all their heads right here just ripped off basically and he ate their brains. But he's still fast. You know he's a zombie, so he's just zooming around, pulling people's brains out. That's about the coolest one right here. Anyway, that is my top ten. Um hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to show one more. Uh, technically, Deathlock is a zombie that's been brought by, back to life by cybernetics. So, there you go. You know, this book is cool. You can see his rotting flesh right here. It's pretty neat. Hope when they do, if they ever put him in the movie, hope they do it like this, where he's half rotten. Because when he did it in the Shield uh, you know, TV series, they couldn't do that. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and do the challenge. Go to Alan's channel at Collector Geek Talk. Uh, at Collect, comment Collector Geek. Get right in a minute. Anyway, look at his channel. You know he's got some amazing books that everybody dreams about, basically. Um, and participate. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, thanks. Bye.